Ladies and gentlemen, um, Your Royal Highness, on behalf of the Hungarian government, I would like to um, welcome you all, primarily uh, our distinguished guest who was uh, conferred the uh, honorary doctor title earlier. I am obliged to thank you for your distinguishing attention to Hungary on behalf of the Prime Minister of Hungary and the Prime Minister's office. Uh, I also would like to congratulate uh, to congratulate you on your uh, honorary uh, doctorate title. And um, I would also uh, like to ask for your um, honorary f friendship shown and exhibited towards uh, Hungary. I think it was um, a wise decision uh, of the university to uh, confer you this uh, honorary title, and it was a wise decision of Peter Antal on behalf of the Knowledge Center to organize this conference. First of all, I would like to thank uh, Peter Antal for uh, his excellent work in the uh, preparations and in the organization of this conference. Let's applaud for his, him for his efforts. And although it is not uh, an economic and a business conference, uh, I still have to say, and perhaps I can say, that the um, Hungarian um, Prime Minister's uh, office um, was honored to be invited to uh, develop close cooperation with the Antal Josef Knowledge Center within the framework of which we have organized and we are planning to organize a lot of scientific conferences and seminars. Considering that today you will be hearing lectures from um, well-prepared and distinguished uh, economic lecturers and uh, important thoughts, it is not my um, task to talk about diplomatic history or diplomatic issues, considering that I'm not a diplomat and I'm not an economic expert either. I'm just a politician. It is a special category and it is a special position. So uh, upon the request of the Prime Minister of Hungary, uh, my task is to call your attention and draw your attention to the political issues and to try and interpret the opening towards the East in terms of politics. What is most important in um, these days um, is that uh, I am obliged to say right at the beginning um, that opening towards the East does not mean closing towards the West. Uh, it does not mean any closing to the West. I'm saying that, and I would like to underline that uh, to make it clear to our Western friends um, to make sure that uh, it is put at the right place in the press. And now I have stated, uh, once I have stated that, I would like to move on to what I really want to, uh, what I really want to say. Um, let me begin that the global crisis that uh, broke out in 2008 hit very bad, hit very badly this uh, country, and it led almost to its complete uh, bankruptcy and destruction just in a few days in 2008. The uh, government that took its oath in 2010 um, tried to tackle that economic and uh, crisis, this global crisis, and I think that crisis management is already taught at this uh, university, and its uh, methods are also taught at this university. Um, anyhow, uh, our government looked at this crisis as uh, an opportunity. It is an opportunity for the country to uh, reorganize the country, to change uh, everything, and to create a new country. In 2010, we decided that in relation to the 2008 uh, global crisis, it is absolutely necessary to put uh, a point uh, to the end of the history of the previous 20 years and to start and commence on the task uh, of a new country. Many were pleased about it, many were sad about it, but uh, I can say that the new structure is now in place and we have managed to reorganize the country and its finances. 
we used a lot of innovative solutions uh, in that, which is still um, in the target uh, of questions and criticism, uh, because um, it question, they question whether a country can be absolutely open in that context. Within this seminar and uh, in this context and in this conference, I can probably stress strongly that the 2008 crisis is a huge opportunity for all uh, countries in trouble. We must also realize that the stereotype uh, and standard solutions that prevailed in the previous period seem to have been destroyed forever. And uh, a country like Hungary must be innovative. And um, we must be looking for a new world uh, in our relations as well. This is why the Hungarian government plans and intends to reorganize its foreign relations uh, to take a lot uh, of steps towards the Gulf uh, region and also to other countries and regions of Asia. We are doing that because we have traditionally good relations. Um, as the uh, State Secretary referred to on behalf of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, we are doing that because we think that the um, Anglo-Saxon world and the Gulf region uh, and also uh, the Far, e Far East uh, in Asia are able uh, and can be open to these problems. They have got less prejudice and we are more capable of culturally respect each other. When Hungary opens towards the East, uh, it does not vindicate the right to judge a country. We respect everybody's cultural traditions, social uh, and economic structure, and as a Westerner, as a member of the European Union, we do not wish to say what would be right, wise, or correct in that particular country. We accept and we respect the country that we uh, request to be our partner, and we try to respect them. And that respect uh, is important, and it has long tradition in that Gulf uh, country. I think it is very important, because as a politician from this position from this point cannot really embark on economic issues and um, I would not even try to um, give you a diplomatic lesson um, because I'm not a diplomat as I said however uh, I think uh, that I had to talk uh, about why we are trying to open to the east the uh, financial and economic um, motives that are there in the whole world, the global crisis, because anybody that we meet today and uh, everybody who is a guest here uh, are representatives from a region where uh, the economy didn't stop, where uh, the economy is growing, where there is uh, expansion, where the uh, processes do not seem to be break up, but in fact uh, are um, apparently strengthening in those countries. That is why I think it is very important that apart from the economic opportunities, we should uh, focus on the cultural uh, opportunities and respect for each other. Uh, in um, While Hungary uh, was criticized heavily for uh, its opening towards the West and its new and new uh, uh, relations uh, in Western Europe, it is uh, a modus women, the part of the everyday life to uh, accept other cultures, uh, other countries, um, and to build new relations, uh, to cooperate for new, for good purposes. We do not want to do anything else but live with the modus vivendi to uh, apply the same practice and to build and strengthen such relations in the future. I think that we have to do all that uh, as part of a strategy and not um, for profit gaining uh, purposes. The main purpose uh, of the opening uh, towards the East and um, to build relations between the two countries is not to force and rebuild uh, those relations for um, 30 silver coins. 
uh, it is an organized and it is a well um, structured strategy for us. We think that uh, Hungarians are open. Um, the Hungarian society is an open society. It is ready to accept uh, investors um, and people coming from the eastern countries and to learn more um, about their community. And as in the previous years, we have managed to reorganize the uh, the uh, administrative structure and soon um, everything will be in order within the government and there are uh, a lot of lawyers here who um, know um, that based uh, on the comparison to the other member states of the European Union are more or less okay and uh, other countries and other member states would be very proud uh, of those figures in fact so anyway after that we can we can say that the Hungarian state is proudly ready to open relations uh, with Eastern countries and to achieve social and economic opportunities. Uh, I would like to stress that uh, I'm not only talking about social and economic opportunities. We have got traditionally good relations with the Arab world. Um, and um, I think we could uh, organize a separate um, seminar of discussing how the Hungarians tried to look for roots and relations in the Arab world. We should cover in a separate uh, lecture um, how uh, excellent relations the Hungarians have with the uh, Arab world and in the Gulf region. I think it should be stressed that in the Hungarian doctorate training in the pharmaceutical industry there are huge opportunities just like in the previous 22 years in the organization of the states and in the supply of public services we have achieved a lot of import a lot of important experience. So we have a vested interest on the one hand to be friends of yours, but it is also meaning that today Hungary in 2013 is a country in uh, Central Europe where the, the government's uh, 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 matters are okay and we are able to receive those who are interested in us. Uh, Hungary would like to be a good place for the people of the Gulf region. A good place to, to where it is worth coming, to where it is worth coming to study. It's an open country for the young people, for the investors, and for everyone who would like to learn about uh, the European culture more. Uh, and as uh, uh, your highness, you are a member of several universities, uh, uh, in Hungary there is a, a con uh, there is a name given to this country and this is the name uh, uh, Ferry Country. So this uh, name was given to the country by one of our poets. Uh, so we are considered to be a fairy country between East and West. Uh, we want to, uh, to transfer the culture uh, from this part of the world to the other and the other way around. So this is a decision of the government to be a, f a fairy country or a bridge country, creating a forum for the dialogue between the two parts of the world. Uh, I hope that you will see in us a future uh, associate and friend. And the government of Hungary is open uh, to, to while respecting the culture of the Gulf region to develop strong relations. Uh, I congratulate uh, Peter Antal for the event of today. And this was a very wise decision. Uh, that you uh, granted the uh, uh, honorary doctorate uh, to the Sheikh. In the break, uh, we discussed this, uh, what, how, what a good image 1956 is and was for Hungary. I hope that uh, while you are here, you will also realize that we have a new image. This is an open uh, and uh, well prepared country today. I thank you very much for your attendance and I wish you lots of success, success for the future also on behalf of the Hungarian government.